Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today it's the roof here and welcome to Atlantis Mapping. Today we are doing the Finnish Empire and this is going to be really fun. Actually not the Finnish Empire, that was just a joke. It's going to be... Yes, the video is going to be about Romania. Okay, that didn't sound as good as it did in my head. It sounded immense in my head. Anyway... We have Romania firstly being nationalized, so the Nazi regime actually survived the war by never joining Germany. Just like Franco, except Franco died in 1975 because of a revolution. But this time the Romanians never died. And they were actually supported by Spain, so they both created an alliance so that nobody else attacks them, and it worked. So the end of they somehow survived the end of the Cold War. But that means, as a bonus, Romania also owned this land. So, let's just, this is like kind of an alternate history scenario and also kind of not. So, this is not an alternate history scenario. So, the first thing that happens is Romania declaring war on Hungary. This is like, uh, well, consequential. So, this happens in 1968. So this is like videos during the Hungarian Revolution. So what happens? Romania is a new beacon of hope for the Hungarians, and they easily sweep the country because the army has been rebelling, and the Soviets didn't reach yet. This actually leads to lots high tensions between the fascismos and the Sovietos. I don't make sense, do I? the fascists and the soviets so there's a really big uh, load of tension so here when in, in 1980 yeah yes 1980 they found a second chance to strike they they found bulgaria and czechoslovakia to be really weak so they are actually attacked them which actually was really consequential it really helped them especially so they first the uh, conquered Bulgaria's coast, then Bratislava, then Prague, and all these countries. Again, beacon of hope, joining them, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. And uh, yeah, this is actually 1985, so after all those old guys died and Mikhail Gorbachev was actually there. Uh, so yeah, Gorbachev actually then became a regimist, just like all the other Soviets. So he actually started a regime the called the Gorbachev regime and it's still on till 2021. But most of the countries left. So it's just Russia, Belarus and Kazakhstan. So right now this is actually one of my first alternate history scenarios that changed the world. So yeah. So here Belarus is a part of Russia. Which is really good so so lat lithuania because of well the exclave and they couldn't let go so lithuania so yeah and the, uh, georgia and armenia because they didn't really have a room for a muslim country because they are uh, most of the russian population was christian they also took azerbaijan just in case because this is now going to be the soviet union a downgraded Soviet Union and they still have Yugoslavia on the side. So they, in 1991 Yugoslavia became into greater Yugoslavia. Basically it divide it did not divide instead it became even bigger. So it it got Albania as a new member. So it's like you get the greater Yugoslavia reference now. And there's also Greece. No, eventually not joining but getting invaded which leads to it taking being taken back so here we are in present day so here ukraine and poland both joined Romania. they're really scared of the gorbachev regime threatening them to and they will take them so romania now officially leaves their fascist regime and joins the north atlantic treaty organization Technically not join this stage a coup five days later and rename it to the North Atlantic Defense Pact. So that means basically Romania can do whatever the hell they want. So what happens here? Well, this is gonna be a mystery. You gets actually it gets attacked. 
This is really weird for them. So they've never get got an attack since like, the Second World War. And then uh, eventually the Soviets also joined. And I think which you know what leads it to. So basically Germany, France, Italy, the Spain, like on the Spanish Islanders, and all these countries just joined. And eventually what happened is that these countries in a state of emergency unite. Um, basically they joined Germany, most of them, because Germany is a really best, uh, really good country, according to them, in terms of economy. So all these NATO members joined. I mean, obviously the Baltics as well. Except these islands which belong to Sweden, Finland joined, Turkey joined, um, Israel joined. So all these guys joined. The US was too busy with their own civil war, which you're gonna show in likely sometime later. So Yugoslavia, first the Germans have like access here, so the Germans and Italians just quickly start, you know, doing this stuff. So they just take Italy takes over three estate, Germany takes over inland, so and Romania takes over the edges. So they continue their push into all of the present day Yugoslavia and they succeed. They've not occupied them yet because they have a bigger force to face. So what happens is they easily take Kaliningrad and Lithuania and uh, these uh and it's Saint Petersburg is also taken by this time we, moscow was not taken yet but saint petersburg was the capital of the soviet they fall the gorbachev is recreated so they didn't really want gorbachev to die because they they really want to compete they want really wanted a reason to keep nato alive so hence gorbachev's regimes still exist in this world not the Yugoslavians, I mean the Soviet regime. So, this is gonna be the final Romanian stuff. So, here what will happen is a really big divide between the two. Boom. And this line is actually really much stretched. Much, much bigger. Just joking. This line is one of the most consequential lines in history. Because here what happens, the Soviets will look for revenge in the new form, you know. See, so their capital is actually Chechnya, Grunzi, but they changed it to Vladivostok. So this is eventually the new Soviet regime. So, hi, I'm going to show you guys how I made the PHP reforms and then only so. So, what should I do here? Well, it's quite obvious what I should do here. So, this goes to Romania and these also go to Romania. Because these guys, I don't think they need anything from here. So, all right, right now, well, Romania has lots of, lots of allies. So, they create the eventual EU here. What happens here is nothing. The EU is just an alliance as usual. So here, this is the final thing we've got. So all these allies of it, the giant Romania. So this is it for the video, the Romanian Empire. Let's take a look at the states. So I'm going to draw the states as well. So yeah, this is going to be a detailed analysis. That's a fancy word. Right, so here we have a greater Romanian state also taking over most of Crimea and also most of Hungary. So here it's like like this. Craiova is taken by the new Bulgarian state, the Albanian state, the Serbian state, and the Croatian state. Actually, Croatia and Serbia are the only two ones who got land and Bulgaria. They will Romania, of course. So, what happens here is that Germany actually 
wants to buy a bit of the parts here so they buy some land from romania to create like some sort of old empire here so this is all germany and yeah germany right now is in a really really powerful position here in this place so here what happens is is poland getting really big here and here's ukraine and the and here's another puppet which you've never heard of i think you've heard of it here's the bomb puppet at convenience i guess here's the karela puppet which i really wants to join finland but i don't think they will be joining finland anytime soon it's just because they have take too much to take care of this is petersburg and they're surrounded by lakes and this is moscow so guys i hope you enjoy this video and bye bye